Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and we are talking about Jira Administrator Tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be further continuing with the customization option in Jira Admin. And today we are going to create custom fields. Now what exactly custom fields are? Of course, there are a lot of standard fields or inbuilt fields which are already available as a part of a Jira instance, which you can find when you click on create button or create a new issue type. But of course, there might be any time uh, necessity to have certain custom fields which are completely, uh, you know, specific to that particular group of, group of people or maybe, you know, set of projects who want a customized field to be used at any point of time. That means there are so many fields which are already available, but they want something different which is not listed there. And they want it completely specific to their needs, which should be listed as a part of the issue type. Now that's what we will be creating today and understanding that what kind of custom fields you can create and what kind of you know steps are involved in order to create that as a part of the Jira instance. So let's get started and understand more about the same today. As a part of this tutorial, we are getting into the next section that is the fields and here we will be talking about how to create custom fields, creating a field configuration and what it is and then associating this custom created field to the project. In order to understand what exactly the custom field is all about, we must first define it. Now, of course, the custom field is a custom field. That means it is created by you. It's user defined and not predefined. Of course, a lot of projects and users demand for some of the specific custom fields, which they do not get when they create a project with help of a template. Now, of course, template has some of the predefined fields, which you can see here, and they are locked. That means we cannot customize it. These are standard fields, and this will come with the template, and you don't have any rights to modify them. But there are some fields which are predefined that can be modified as well. But what if the project demands something which is non-existing in our list? And how do we create a new field for them, which could be completely customized by the project specific members? So now, today we will be understanding more about the same, that what if the demand comes to create a custom field, how we can do that with accessing the Jura Administrator. Before that, let me just quickly show you what are the fields which we may have, which are predefined. So just come to the field configuration, where field configuration is just like an interface again, where we configure that which field should be visible in which particular project or which particular screen. Because when I create a new custom field, then it might be by default visible to all the projects, but I need to customize it to a project. Following that, I must be customizing it further to a particular issue type. And that's what we are going to understand in detail here. So have 100% of attention here to understand that. So number one, we'll be creating a custom field. Number two, we'll be associating to a particular project and within that project, further associating it to only a particular issue type. And there are a lot of stops involved for that. But before that, there's something which is present by default. Let's have a look what it contains. Click on the configure button and you will see all the fields which you basically see when you create a new issue type, which could be anything, any type of issue. So there are so many fields which are predefined with the template. It all depends on the template which you are making use of. Now these are already existing. So if you want, you can customize them, hide them or mark it as required, which is mandatory or include it in different screens or which screens are using it, which you can see here as well. And now you can see that there are a lot of fields which are visible in different things. So now let's get back to our business in this tutorial to create a new field. So go back to the custom field section and click on the right side button here, add custom field. So let's create an expectation. Assume that your project team is looking for a custom field to manage the customer request, which we created in our previous tutorials. Now assume that they say that I don't want it as a subtask to manage the customer request as a recommendation, complaint, or anything else. I want it as a field instead and a drop down field where I can select what it is. So instead of converting them into subtask. So now that's the demand. Let's create it. So add custom field, click on that. And you will be first prompted to provide a type of field which you want to create now. 
this is important which you can see here that there are checkboxes there are date picker date time picker labels number fields radio buttons select list cascading select list multiple choices select list single choices and text field text field multi line single line url user picker anything there are so many options this is just standard if you get into advanced you do have furthermore okay so you can select for whatever you want so in our example they want a drop down list which is select list but with single choice the preview will be shown to you which makes you very convenient to select the type of the object or the field which you want to create so this will be the best suited for them because they want to create an issue as customer request and following that they want to select that which category does it fall under so click on this and click on next name it so say like type of request okay sorry about that type of request and provide a description this is a customer request type and here it is a drop down list so of course the options must be listed here so say it is recommendation add or is it a complaint from the customer or is it a feedback or yeah recommendation stands for suggestions that should be fine now click on create that's it you're done with creating a custom field on your own once you're done with this you will probably be you know prompted for how to conduct like perform a re-index what is re-index we will be talking in our next tutorial the next step here soon after creating this they are asking you that these are the common screens which are available right now in your Jira server instance. Please be careful with these terms, team, that I'm not talking about a particular project right now. I'm talking about your entire Jira software instance. That means these are the only screens which are available in your Jira server instance. But in real time, you might have created already a lot of them. So you might have more than this. Now, what they're asking you, where or which screen do you want to showcase this particular item which you just created so if i remember in the previous tutorial we just created a new screen specific to customer request issue type so i can select this one to showcase only for customer request issue type to be displaying this new field called as the customer request type or if you can go for default screen it will showcase in any of the issue types and obviously different projects as well so let's keep it limited to the customer request screen and click on update that's it now wherever which of our project it will be applicable it will be just going to that particular screen and visible there so no matter the screen is used in any project or any issue type there wherever it is applicable as per your previous schemes you it will be visible there that's it so you're all done with that So let's quickly navigate to our project and see that whether it is visible to us or not. And then let's go to click on create button and drop down and select customer request. Click on next. Yeah, we see a drop down list here that is type of request now, which shows none, recommendation, complaint, or feedback. If in case I'll create some other issue, probably instead of uh, customer request, I go with task. I don't see a type of request here, right? So this is how the screen decides that which particular project and which particular um, option it should be visible for or issue type it is visible for. So that's what we need to take care of. Okay, so these are the things which you need to understand in order to create a custom field and associate to a particular project or issue type, which completely happens with respect to the screen which you select. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team where we understood about how to create a custom field and make use of it. In next tutorial, we'll be talking about the field configurations and field configuration schemes. Should you have any other query with you, feel free to drop them below. I'm there always to assist your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.